Libra, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is a general reading. Me or me not resonate. If it doesn't, check out your other places. Overall energy, Queen of Cups. So there is definitely someone who you're very, very emotionally attached to, Libra. Okay. Um, let's see. One second. Just let's get this spread out. Okay, Libra. What I'm getting here is that there's definitely overall someone here who probably is emotionally attached to you or you're emotionally attached to them. Okay, someone here who you have given a love offer to. Uh, there is some kind of offer or an opportunity here, okay, that you have presented to them out here and they are deeply attached to you and they're thinking about it. In the past year, I think there was a decision to move forward, okay. There could have been some kind of progress to move forward in the past year. All right, between you and this person. This could be a long distance relationship for a few of you, okay? But someone probably just turned the back to the situation and chose to move forward. Now, I feel in the current situation here, there is a person here who's coming towards you. With the Knight of Cups here, this could be someone who has a lot of emotions for you. And uh, I feel this is someone here who was stuck, okay? So there was no communication between you both, okay? Every communication was completely stuck and stagnant between you both here. And now, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, the communication is just going to start in, okay? Like, boom, all right? So it's just going to come in really quick. And whoever this person is who the communication is stuck with, right? This person is here going to come in to express how they really, really feel. Why? Because you're giving them the silent treatment, okay? You're giving this person the silent treatment. So there's really a silence between you both, but they're going to come in and make this move. Deep down, you have a lot of emotions for this person, but you're choosing to hold back, okay? Because maybe this person here uh, didn't make a choice, Okay, and you just chose to like, you know what, I've done how much have I could and now I need to move forward. So you could have just moved away from this person, okay, turning your back to the situation and completing the cycle with them. Now in the future, uh, uh, in the current situation, you have someone here who's, let's see, it's the Knight of Cups here. Who's the Knight of Cups? Yeah, this is someone here who probably sabotaged the connection, okay, that's the kind of person who's coming in and now they're just standing there like, oh shit, I screwed up. Because this is false victory, right? Someone here sabotaged the connection here, okay? And now the same person here is coming back because they want a reconciliation with you. And uh, like I said, if the communication is completely... The ones I'm reading for, there is no communication between you guys, okay? And all of a sudden, it's just going to pick up. You're giving this person the silent treatment because probably you feel it's over between you and them. Yeah, you could have cut this person off and you close the chapter with them or they close the chapter with you, whatever it is, okay? For a few of you, maybe this is a over and done, okay? Which is why you're just choosing to hold back here, yeah? Yeah. I think you want to walk away. A part of you wants to walk away, but a part of you is still holding on, you know? You don't want to make any impulsive moves. You don't want to make any emotional choices here, okay? Although you feel this is a relationship where no matter how many chances you give this person here, they kept doing it over and over again, right? Kept manipulating, mind games, etc., negative communication, sabotaging the connection, okay? Now again, they're coming back, all right? Um, after they ghosted you probably. But you're in two minds right now. Do you want to walk away or do you still want to hold on to this person? Now, in the future here, I do see communication coming in, okay? But you're not going to trust this communication here. Because it's like you feel there's a lot going on behind the scenes, you know? You feel there's a lot going on that you don't know about, okay? So you don't trust this communication here. There could be two people communicating with you. One who's coming in to communicate with you right now, but maybe you sabotage the communication here because you don't trust them. They're going to come back again in the future here, but again, you don't trust it. So there's a lot of self-doubt there's a lot of deception that you feel is happening or you just don't trust it maybe this person here has you know probably cheated on you lied to you and you have trust issues okay so you don't trust this person because of past experiences of some sort here um yeah you're not doing anything about this situation here in fact while this person keeps you on hold you're changing the way you think about this connection you're changing your perspective about this connection out here so if you were deeply in love with this person here you're changing the way you think you probably just like you know what maybe it's not the best for me okay uh the person in your environment here this person is ready uh prepared to commit to you. Silently, they're committing to you, but they're not making any moves towards you. Yeah, they're still defensive. 
they still their guards are up and they are like i'm gonna take my own time i'm gonna do what i have to and i'm just gonna be as slow as fuck as i want to okay so that's a lot of wasting of time honestly this person's just wasting time they have their guards up they have that strong determination like no means no i'll do what i want when i want and that's this energy where they're pushing you away you know they're pushing you away constantly even though they want you they're still pushing you away here okay which is why you don't trust it uh emotionally you uh realize your worth you realize your value and i think a lot of you are ready to take a leap for leap forward and just start a brand your life without this person okay because again you realize your worth your value here uh you're probably the center of attraction maybe there are a lot of suitors coming towards you okay but it's that energy where i am enough i've learned from whatever happened in the past year i want to put bygones in the bygones i want to put the past in the past because then anyways you've closed out a cycle with them okay and uh, which is why with the four of swords here there is probably uh so this person here is the outcome here is going to want to come in towards you and want to put in the effort in this connection but i feel you're choosing to hold off communication you're choosing to hold off response here you're not going to open up to them you're not going to talk to them or probably just leave them on read yeah they're going to keep making several attempts to keep coming back towards you okay but and eventually in the outcome here also they will try to talk to you and they will try to fix the situation with you okay try to know more about you for a few of you the kind of commitment that you have towards this connection right it's too much for them it's too much for them you know and uh it's just something that uh they feel that there's too much hard work to get you okay or to be with you here which is why they keep running away or which is why they just you know don't put in that work that quality work into the connection but this time around yeah they will but this time you're just going to be like you know what like i don't even want to talk to you you're just going to be like you know what i need some rest i need to take a break here this is too overwhelming and i don't want to you're just like taking a rest you know just chilling relaxing you don't want to even think about this working or collaborating or having any team work with this person okay so that's what i have for you hope this reading resonates and i'll see you next time bye bye